Rule number one, never talk about your man to another man. In fact, never talk about your man to your homegirls, especially your city girl homegirls, or your parents, especially your mama. So I'm going to say this. A lot of you think that you have male friends and that these male friends are here to listen to you and you can trust them. Most of these men who you think are your male friends are sitting in position waiting for you to get vulnerable enough or stupid enough to vent and then they're going to conquer the cooch cat. Some people, you just can't tell them stuff like you just it's just not it's not none of their business. Ain't no some people for me personally. My relationship is between me and my man. So what we go through, we are together. We're going to yeah. work it out. And the minute you start taking that relationship outside of y'all circle, that's when things start getting messed up because then everybody got their own little opinion. No, my our relationship is me and you. Man, this world one TikTok creator says you talk too much. Mm. You never shut up. Mm -hmm. Hey, what you know about that Run DMC over there? What you know about that? Nothing. What? I don't know. Wet behind, wet behind the ears. Yeah, yeah. She don't know what about that old school hip hop. Anyway, we're peeing at that, man. It's this John Podcast. Oh. Uh, we ain't ready yet. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? <laughs> oh, my God. I keep you on your toes. <laughs> now, now, who's wet behind the damn ears? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Rule number one. Never talk about your man to another man. In fact, never talk about your man to your homegirls, especially your city girl homegirls, or your parents, especially your mama. So I'm going to say this. A lot of you think that you have male friends and that these male friends are here to listen to you and you can trust them. Most of these men who you think are your male friends are sitting in position waiting for you to get vulnerable enough or stupid enough to vent. And then they're going to conquer the cooch cat. And now your value is down. And then let me tell you another thing. You think venting to your city girl, homegirls, I'm going to tell you there's two positions that those type of friends are, are going to play. Number one, she's going to wait for you to fall back because then she's going to sleep with your man. Number two, she's going to convince you to leave that relationship so you can be a city girl too because misery loves company. Saying nothing's wrong with the city girls, that's a movement. I support it. However, a lot of you think that you have a circle of friends that you actually do not have. A lot of you think that you have a lot of people that are extremely loyal to you that are around you, but you really do not have that. There are a lot of people that are sitting right next to you right now that you believe have some loyalty and you can trust in, but those people are secretly in competition with you and they want what you have. You have to sit back and start evaluating the people that you have around you in your circle. I would ask my friends, you know, how many of your homeboys have you slept with? Have you ever slept with any of your friends, man, any of your friends, man before? Ask your male friends, how many of your homegirls have you slept with? The answer might surprise you. And then the bad thing about, I won't say every mother is like this, but the bad thing about talking about your relationship and especially venting to your parents, your parents' job is to protect you and to love you. So now after you done being mad at this man and you brought him back around, now there's animosity in the air. And then since you've told all these people these things and your ego gets the best of you, now you're treating that man some type of way because you don't want to feel stupid or you don't want to look stupid. When all actuality, you created that environment for that judgment to be placed on your partner when you really just needed to keep your business to yourself. Because fact of the matter is when you go to venting like that, you know you're not going to leave anyways, which is totally fine. I'm for love. Work it out. Read a book. Study each other. However, you're going to create that animosity. Then you're going to be walking around, try to act all hard, and you're going to start treating that man away. And then when he reacts to how you treated him or how the family has treated him, then you're going to be mad at that man. So again, I'll say this to say, keep your business to yourself. Your friends are not always your friends, and you need to evaluate your circumstances. Word friend very loosely. Mm -mm. Word? You Listen. Know? No. You know? First of all, he said, First you with all. somebody that you think is going to smash your partner, that should not be your friend. Like me and my best friend, it was times that he was cheating and he would ask me to drive his girlfriend home so he can get his side chick into the crib. That ain't happening. And so me, I would take his car from South Philly and drive his girlfriend all the way to Germantown. And I never had the thought of like, ooh, let me try to say anything to her do like that's weird to me so it's like at the end of the day y'all gotta pick y'all friends wisely exactly is that mm -hmm. your friendship and even <clears throat> no matter what you tell them you could tell them whatever they should always be riding for you and never had no ulterior motive that's number one number two she is right though like some people you just can't tell them stuff like you just it's just not 
It's not none of their business. You know, some people, for me personally, my relationship is between me and my man. So what we go through, we are together. We're going to yeah. work it out. And the minute you start taking that relationship outside of y'all circle, that's when things start getting messed up because then everybody got their own little opinion. No, my our relationship is me and you. I'm mm-hmm. going to, it's, it's nothing for anyone on the outside to me, an outsider to know. But so I think I that, I think that it's healthy to get some, some, you know, dialogue from others, especially but, if they're in but, a relationship. Yeah, but, if you're but talking then, to single people, that's, stupid, that's, when, that's when you should seek professional. You, you should talk to a professional. I mean, yeah, I, I understand that too. But even still, like for me, if, if my, if my community or my village around me, I want them, to, I want to, I want them to be able to protect me too. So like, I want to come to y'all first and get y'all your insight. Hey, you know, you've been married however many years. Um, I'm kind of, we kind of yeah. struggling with this. How did y'all get through? Like, I want some real live, you know, examples of yeah, people that so, I know. I mean, but you, again, that's why I said just being like, she know, has careful. some valid points. Like, she definitely has some valid points. Like, especially yes. when it comes to like, you know, family and friends. However, not all friends, especially when it comes to females are always going to take your side. Like you do have some females. You never you never know who is plotting on your man or your woman because it happens. Oh yeah. Oh, it it happens. Yeah, trust me. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. When, I, when I was in my start, youth, you, you got it you got to really have a full understanding on who your friend is is because the minute you start telling your business, that's when they start sneaking in like a little snake and finding their way through and next thing mm-hmm. you know, your friend is is effing your man yeah, or your Jessica, woman. Jessica, I understand. And listen, let me tell you something. You got you. You want to go get some hookah? Young people do that a lot. Because I, just, I can say just young people. I just say young people do it a lot. They don't have no care. Because it, they don't know. You just humping. You but you know, as hump. you get older and start experiencing those things, like, oh shit. No, I mean, my last girlfriend tried to take my man, so I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. Right. But young people do. Because I, I know when I was young and I was in a relationship, I would, I would tell my, yo, man, Keep your mouth shut. You right. know what I mean? Stop telling our business right. to your friends. Right. But, and especially your friends that have never been in good relationships. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not That's taking advice. Right there. Like, I got homies. They ain't never, I've never seen some of my homies, I've never seen them in a relationship more, not even a year. So, why would I go to him like, yo, listen, I'm, I'm struggling with my woman? Like, I know. Uh, what advice what kind of advice me? they gonna give they you? They can't tell me nothing. So no, it's like no. You gotta be aware of who you tell your business to, and again, see how they move. Te- test the water. You're right. Give them see, something yeah. like you. I give it to you. Right. Listen. Um, see, see how they move. Tell them about somebody else. Yo, I seen so and so girl out there. Da, 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 da. Just to see if they gonna spread it. That's how I test all of my. I tested all of my friends. I tell you something that I might not be a big deal, but I just want to see if it get back to them people because if it do I know how it got there exactly yeah. and it's like oh yeah I know who yeah. you are and then I know how to yeah, move I, around yeah you. I ain't telling you yeah. nothing I'm already a private person so if I if I feel like I got an inclination that you gonna tell my business you probably won't even know my real name it ain't happening so, wait, so let's go to the comments so one comment I told my ex the same thing she told me that I'm being insecure what do you think T? no that's not being insecure that's just pr- being protective being yeah. protected over himself, being protected over their relationship, and also having respect for her. I don't think that's being insecure yeah. at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet you. He probably knocked her off. Damn, let me stop. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, listen to that. Look, in my youth. In my youth. So look, the next comment. Unfortunately, common sense is not common knowledge to many. Dealt with this three times already. Never again. Oh, see, now that's your dumbass. 100. Friend. How do you deal with again? How do you three deal times. with them three times? Right, because okay, first time well, you well, didn't well, really well, know. We don't know if that was a male or a female. Either I, or, I but I'm just yeah. saying, regardless, first time okay, you ain't really know. You should have learned by the second time, and then you don't went through it the third yeah, I ain't time. I give you. I don't. Oh, get, they don't, ain't no three strikes in you off of me. I don't play baseball. <laughs> I'm cool. The first time that that was the that was the the that red was the flag. Warning. Yeah. yeah. The right. next time you cut. Right. Is that serious? I mean, is that simple? Yeah. Like no. Like yeah. come on. Yeah. So we got. Another comment goes both ways for sure. It does. Of course. Yeah. And again, especially dude. Let me tell you something. Dudes will. Oh, man. When you got a slimy friend Bro. in your group. Oh, man. man listen, boy, it's a misconception that, that women just be out there being catty. 
Men be out there running their lips like they are <laughs> a damn yeah. talk show host. Yeah. They're like, bro. They are that we came here they to watch are that the next contestant. We came here to watch the Behind game. Behind door number two. We that came here to watch the game. You'd have told me Janine's whole oh, uh, wow. relationship <laughs> staff. I'm like, bro, what? what? That, that be that that be that barbershop talk. Huh? No, that no, that ain't nah, even that barbershop. Ain't bar- barbershop no. talk is about sports. Yeah, we that ain't, ain't barbershop about, talk. That's, that's gossip. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's gossip. gossip. Like that's outside. Oh, the first nice day you came outside. Well, look at Janine. She got on the, uh, the little uh, I, skirt. I never really realized until like over the years how petty guys are. No. Like, they can be more petty oh, yeah, than yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah, yes. 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 Guys, Again, yeah. If you think yeah. if you think a woman told your business, more than likely, it was a dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you might have thought it was her. It was she might have told him thinking like, this is my guy, we cool. He done ran back and told everybody, no. yeah, Janine. I wouldn't believe the things that I've heard from guys. Listen, that, I've heard let me say something. That's because of I said it again. I said it before, and I'll say it again. Men aren't men anymore. 